In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Booster Boy, which is an application that allows you to stream PC games on any device. So this is awesome because I love PC gaming, I love the flexibility that it brings, and this allows me to play on my smartphone or my tablet. So in this video, we're going to be testing it out on a few games, and I'm going to let you guys know my experience on it. But before we get into all of that, I got to let you guys know that this video is not sponsored. I was not paid to say anything nice about this. I was given a free trial, like they gave me a couple of hours to try it out and tell you guys what I think about it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. This is Fall Guys running on my smartphone and as you guys know fall guys is not available on mobile at this moment it's pretty cool to have this game on my smartphone because i normally play with my friend she's a live streamer and sometimes she'll message me randomly like oh i'm gonna live stream in 30 minutes or i'm gonna play in like 30 minutes it's great to just pull up my phone i don't gotta you know be at my desktop be at my laptop i can just use my phone use my tablet and jump into a game right away once you sign up you can connect your steam or your epic games account and you can't play every single game on your account but you can play a good amount. But one thing that was really interested about this service is that I can play Fall Guys, which you can't do with Nvidia GeForce and you can't do it on Xbox Game Pass. So Fall Guys might be a little bit of a weird game to test out with this service, but it's actually a pretty good example because it's an online game, there's a lot going on and you need that accuracy because if you're not accurate, you will fall a lot. And that's what happened. So the game is running at 1080p, 60 FPS, which is a little bit of a downgrade to what I'm normally playing Fall Guys at. Normally I play at 1440p at like over 100 FPS. So if this was running at 60 FPS, I felt the difference. But overall the game was playable. Uh, I didn't do as good as I would have played if I played it, you know, from my laptop. It, it took a while to get used to, especially with the input lag. And there are ways to minimize that input lag. So I, I was also using a Bluetooth controller. You also gotta be mindful of your Wi-Fi settings. So playing an online game may not be the main reason to get this service. But that's the same thing with all gaming services, Xbox, GeForce Now, there's always going to be that little bit of a lag, that's kind of the price to pay for convenience. And when you're playing a single player game, everything runs smoothly and it's not as noticeable. You also got a pretty big selection of games like Cyberpunk 2077, The Witcher 3, Rocket League, Fortnite, Death Stranding, Ray, and others. To play a game is very simple. Like I said before, you got to connect your Steam or your Epic Games account to Boosteroid. And then from there you can click play and it will open it up. Obviously you can play with a Bluetooth controller or a wired controller if you have a USB-C dongle. Same thing goes for iPhone. You can even use a keyboard and mouse which I haven't really tried yet but you can do that if you want. Yeah, it's just so convenient to have a very small device that can play your favorite PC games. It may not be the most ideal for certain multiplayer games but so I've been cool. using this service for a few weeks and I'm glad I didn't post this review right away because I discovered a way that you can play even more PC games like Grand Theft Auto, Diablo 4, NBA 2K, a lot of the top new games, Uncharted, Spider-Man, some of the biggest PC games are playable with Boosteroid. So on the library section, there's a little tab right next to it that says install. You click on it and again, if your Epic Games or your Steam account is already connected and you own the game, you can play some of these big PC games. And of course, right away, I tried it out with Grand Theft Auto V and it works. I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm glad I waited to post this review because uh, my review has changed. At first I was like, okay, it's okay, it's fine. But now I'm like, oh, this is amazing actually. I don't have a controller, you can use a virtual controller uh, if you want, uh, it's not recommended, but you can do that if you want. Again, you can connect the keyboard and mouse also, uh, then use your controller. Also, you can use a microphone, so if you're playing online, you can chat with your friends the same way you would if you was on PC. So it's pretty awesome for the price and the convenience, but I know it's not like Xbox Games Pass where they let you play free games. With this service, you have to own the game before you can play it. So that might be a downside to some people, but for someone like me that I had Steam and Epic for years, I got plenty of games to play. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and hit the subscribe button because I got plenty more videos coming soon.